A pathologist typically works in a laboratory close in, to, the, to the operating room and the radiologist suite. We look at uh, biopsies and excision specimens from surgeries. Uh, we examine them either intraoperatively or soon thereafter and render a diagnosis. Once we take out the tumor and we finish the surgery, we then wait a few days and we get the pathology report back, which is the definitive information that we need and that looks at the tumor characteristics such as the size of the tumor, the grade, how the cells look. If they look closer to normal, the grade is low grade or well differentiated. And if the cells are high grade or poorly differentiated tumor, that means that the cells um, or the tumor is far away from looking normal and those are usually more aggressive tumors. The purpose of doing definitive surgery for cancer, for breast cancer, is to remove it completely. And the definition of complete removal of a breast cancer is that there should be a rim of normal tissue around the cancer. And the rim is defined by the, uh, by the, the technical term is, is margin, and that refers to the outermost extent of the excision. The margins are very important because there's a certain percentage of women who have what we call breast conservation where we conserve the breast, where we have to go back and take out extra tissue. So when the surgeon removes the tissue, we then mark it to orient the, the specimen or the tissue that we take out for the pathologist who then ink the margins. So they take different colors and they then orient the specimen to themselves so that when they look under the microscope, they can tell if the cancer cells go to the edge of um, the specimen that was removed. What else can you report to a surgeon so that along with the oncologist they can plan for further treatment? A pathology report on an excision spe uh, specimen uh, contains many variables. It will confirm the diagnosis uh, from a core biopsy that the patient does have uh, breast cancer, the, the type of breast cancer. Aside from looking at the size of the tumor, the grade of the tumor, the histologic type, whether, whether or not it's ductal or lobular, if it's invasive or non-invasive, we also look at the margins, which tell us the proximity of the tumor to the edge of what we take out. We may need to go back to take out more tissue to lower the risk of recurrence of, of breast cancer. We also look at whether there are patches of cancer cells elsewhere in the tissue, and we can consider that if there are, that may be a multicentric or a multifocal cancer, and we may have to worry about other areas in the breast. If it's an invasive cancer, we would also like to look at the sentinel node or other lymph nodes. If we know that the sentinel node is negative, that could save a woman from going back and taking out more lymph nodes. And in effect, that would really help her to reduce her risk of arm swelling later on, which could become a very chronic condition.